Okay, y'all, so this is the final look. I pulled my hair down. Um, yeah, this is just me about to leave out for the day. Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. Yep, I said my channel. <laughs> that was corny. Um, anyway, this is my first video. Y'all been asking for a while for me to start a channel, and now here I am. I'm not good in front of the camera. I'm very socially awkward in certain situations because other situations I'm a butterfly. But this is kind of weird to me talking to a camera. But anyway, if you don't know, my name is Brooke Craft. I'm 24. Um, I'm an Aquarius. My birthday is January 29th. And yeah. Y'all know me. Stop playing. Um, today we're doing my... Um, Quick makeup routine. Um, it's not really quick, quick. Like I would say, like thirty to forty-five minutes, depending on how fast I'm going. But I always feel like anytime I go out, I am the last one ready. So I'm always doing my makeup really fast. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I do on an average night, or like if we're going to dinner real quick, or to the club real quick, and I haven't really thought it out much of what I'm gonna do to my face. This is what I do. So first, um, I moisturize my face with. Kills Ultra Facial Cream. I don't know if it's gonna focus for y'all so y'all can see it, cause the light is so bright. But it's Kills Ultra Facial Cream, so I use that as like a primer. It's already on, that's why my skin is shining. And then, um, I don't really know how to say this brand name. Um, some of y'all might know, but it's their Banana Bright Eye Cream. I put that under my eyes before I do my makeup so that you're not damaging um, your under eye. You don't want any, premature fine lines or dark spots from oh it focused for me from not moisturizing your under eye so yeah go get this this is my favorite eye cream now and um kills midnight recovery eye that's my two face now what we're gonna do first is if you have imperfections like me right now my face is not really breaking out but i have um post scars like a little bit of scars down here and stuff um i was taking birth control for my skin and I just came off like three weeks ago because it's, it makes me so fat. Like that's why when y'all see me gaining weight, I'm gaining so much weight because of that birth control. But um, I came off of it. So I have a little imperfections from when I broke out when I came off. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your concealer. Some people take, I used to take um, color corrector, like a green color corrector and do it. But I like this technique a lot better. So this is the Tarte. Um, shape tape and this is the color medium tan because I got a tan in um, Mexico and don't judge my nails y'all they about to get done I got a tan in Mexico so yeah I had to steal seven starter concealer <laughs> so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna take a little dot everywhere that you don't want to show up I'm like once you put your foundation on you don't want to see those dark spots or those you know marks and stuff so you want to take a little dot everywhere that you feel like you have an imperfection at okay i have a lot of little it's not bumps down here it's like scarring but even if it was who cares we're not perfect and then i always take a little here because i get really really red right there well not so much red but I don't know. I'm just half white, so I get red spots. Don't touch that. Like, don't touch this right now. You're gonna um, let that dry. While we're doing that, we're gonna do our eyebrows. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in dark brown, as you can see. Come on, my so the focus in the color dark brown. Um, so you're just gonna brush your eyebrows up. My eyebrows are not really done, but I'm kind of letting them grow out, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold this mirror because I don't want y'all to um to be looking stupid while <laughs> I'm looking up at something. I'm looking at the mirror though. So first what I like to do, I like to um I won't say my eyebrows are that natural looking, but I like to keep them as natural looking as possible, but I also like a shape to my eyebrow. So first, I'm gonna start by outlining my brow. If y'all can y'all see me? I'm asking like y'all can talk back. So we're gonna outline the bottom. Very, very gently, guys. When I first started doing my makeup, I used to do this 
so hard and I would wonder why my eyebrows would look ashy and or shiny like sometimes I'm just using the wrong color I started out doing makeup I was using like a like a grayish brown color for my eyebrows and it just wasn't right so I like to brush that in first because it's going to travel like through your brow when you brush it so you don't want to start filling them in too much until you see like how dark it already is and I'm a little heavy handed so I really like to be careful then I just like to go lightly through the hairs like this very very lightly and just fill in you know I'm still learning every day I've been I started doing my makeup taking makeup seriously probably like the end of 2016 and I feel like I got decent you know people ask me to do their makeup and stuff so but I'm not a makeup artist, so it's not going to be perfect. And then we're just going to do the same thing to this brow. It's really, makeup is really not hard, y'all. Like, I always try to get my friends that don't do makeup, you know, I'm not perfect. So I tell them, you know, all the time, like, if, if I could do it, you could do it, you know. I literally learned from watching YouTube videos and, um... I would sit with Seven and then when we used to be like on the modeling scene and stuff, I would like, I asked people that was doing my makeup, you know, how you do that? Or like when I would feel them doing certain stuff, I'd be like, what you doing now? What you doing now? And it's probably annoying, but that's just how you learn. Like you gotta ask questions and you gotta do your research. So never be afraid to ask someone questions when you get, especially when you get your makeup done by a professional makeup artist. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with um, my concealer brush and we're gonna conceal my eyebrows. So I use the same concealer. I take a little bit on my brush and I go under first. I go under the brow. And I make sure I try to keep like a straight line. I be trying to be like those girls that do it like, like this lady that did my makeup um, for my birthday, she just did it like so fast. And I mean, her brows are like crazy good. So I'm trying to figure out how she just did that fast. And when I asked her, of course, you know, I asked, it really wasn't that easy of an explanation. And so I still don't know how to do it. But we learning. So I could do the end in one swipe but I can't do the front like that. Cause I'm really scared about, you know, the shaping of the brow not making any sense. And remember y'all, y'all eyebrows do not have to be identical. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So stop trying to, you know, shape your eyebrow to the same exact accord as the other. Like it's not gonna be like that. And if it is, it looks kind of weird. And then I'm just gonna take the top of my brow kind of put too much concealer on the top. But it's, it's gonna make sense in a while, y'all. I know I look crazy right now, but it's gonna, it's gonna make sense. If y'all be liking how my makeup looks on Instagram, then you're gonna like how this turns out because I'm literally just showing y'all exactly what I do every day. Okay, now you're just gonna um, smooth this out. The concealer that's under your brow. You're gonna blend it out. And like I said, it does not gonna look right right now, but y'all gonna see what I'm talking about when I'm finished because when I do my everyday uh, makeup routine, I put foundation on my lids, which is kind of unorthodox as well. But since I'm not doing eyeshadow or something, I hate for my eyelids to be, you know, veining, you can see all like the different colors. We don't like that. So now what I'm doing, I'm just filling, I'm just taking a concealer in the middle, shaping out the middle. I like to just do this until I get to, you know, the right space and that I like. Sometimes I feel like my eyebrows are too far, but that's just the way they are. Then I take a little concealer right here, so it could kind of lighten the front a little bit, a little more natural. 
Then I'm gonna go in and brush them again. Then I'm gonna take, um, this is Anastasia's brow gel. You can't even see the words, it's so old, but this is Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. And I'm gonna take that to set my brows. And you're just gonna do the upward direction again. Like, that's like how people get their eyebrows laminated and stuff. So they can sit straight up. And what we're gonna do now is, now that this concealing is dry, we're gonna blend it all out. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect because foundation is going right on top of it, but you just don't want it to be sitting on your face. You want it to just be kind of blurred. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation in the color Maple. Um, I'm gonna pour a little bit on this foundation palette. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Y'all know about beauty blender. Wash your beauty blenders, y'all. Please wash your beauty blenders. I cannot stress that enough. I've seen too many people with dirty beauty blenders. So this color is so dark because from my tan, I got so dark that my face is whiter now. So I, I'd rather match my um, foundation to my body. So we're gonna, when I put my foundation on, we kind of go down a little down to here so that you can blend in with the neck. You don't want to be too toned. So I just try to um, match my foundation to my body. And I know it looks crazy because my face is so white, but it's gonna work out. You see how like down here, it doesn't look like that. Like it's starting to like, once you get here, then my face would be white and my body would be tan. And we don't wanna look like that. And like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I have unorthodox ways of doing stuff. Usually I do not put my foundation on like this. Usually I just um, paint it on first, then use my beauty blender. So now we're going to blend it out. Your body, you do not want to be two different colors. Even get your ear. That's why I always have to clean my earrings when I do my makeup because I'm going to get my ears, okay? We're gonna go a little high. I always put foundation on my eyelids when I'm not doing eyeshadow or any type of eye look. And then we're gonna gently go around that concealed area to make sure it's just not too white up at the top, you know? Okay, that looks a lot better. And then we're gonna go down the middle a little bit, but you don't wanna get it on your eyebrows, so I try to squeeze it so it's like a half of a um, sponge and not a whole sponge anymore. Like I said, I'm just gonna go in on my neck some more. And now you see it like blends in with my body. This was my old color, this is me now. This foundation is so good, y'all. It's like flawless victory. <laughs> it's just a flawless finish, like for real. I love a full coverage foundation, especially because I am um, a combination skin girl. Sometimes my skin wants to act right. Sometimes my skin wants to cut up. So now what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna take our concealer and we're gonna highlight all our areas. So I just like to do a little bit up here, a little bit down here. I do not contour my nose, however, I do conceal my nose. My nose is very tiny. So I do not like to make it any smaller than it already is. For concealer, you wanna lift your face. I learned this on TikTok. <laughs> Cause at first I used to do the whole paint your face concealer like down to here, up there, the whole triangle. No, but I still do a little bit right here. But we're past that phase, y'all. You just wanna make sure that you are lifting your face when you do it. Like I said, when you're doing okay, y'all, I'm back. Technical difficulties. But, um, like I was saying, you're gonna look crazy while you're doing makeup. That's okay. So I start here, and you just wanna gently, you know, work this around. This is just to highlight these areas. Like, you, when you're, um, doing makeup, it's about, it's about 
shape it. It's about highlighting, you know, your features. So you have to remember, you have to just know your face to know what you're doing. Like I've tried techniques, you know, that I saw on YouTube that worked for other people that did not work for me. Like, and I find to figure out what works for me. Um, this is Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but this is their new one in Ultra Glow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I spray it in my sponge sometimes so that um, my makeup can blend better, but not a lot. You don't want a wet sponge. You just want like, you don't want a dry sponge either. I can't really explain what you want though. You just want to like, you know, blend it out gently. And we're going to go into our under eye. Okay, now I'm an oily girl, so I do not like to use cream contour. I like to use powder contour. I don't want to make myself any more oily than I have to be. So we're going to take this, I got this ankle brush from, um, I want to say, what is this, Real Techniques? Yeah. And I just go in like this. I learned to put my contour higher too. So that is also shaping my face. I kind of just use this brush to like put it onto my face. And then I blend it out with another brush. I just like the angle of this brush itself. You can come in. <laughs> Grab my back right now over. Look how soaked I am. We got caught in the storm. And right? We're about to get out of some gray. I was talking to the people. It's so weird. <laughs> it is weird, right? It's weird as hell. Hey guys, it's me. I'm so skipping wet t shirt contest, but we gotta find the right. Uh oh, sis is coming. Can you bring the charger? Hey, Luda. 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 Get out. Sorry, <laughs> right, y'all. Brief interruption from my neighbors. They live down the hall. So, yeah, you just wanna go around your forehead as well. Um, I don't want to go too high because like, I have lace on. And then I take a little on my jawline. Just a little. Then I go on with my powder brush to uh, to blend it out. So I just go like this. Go like this really quickly. Go like this. Go like this. Unorthodox. <laughs> so now we're going to um, take our setting powder. Laura Mercier, translucent, I swear by it. Um, Kylie's translucent powder is really nice too. I just literally, I go between who I'm gonna get when I'm in the store that day. Like when I run out, like, okay, I'm gonna get Kylie this time, Laura Mercier next time. Um, I take a different beauty blender that's not wet and I just go in and do my highlighted areas. Now, some people are over baking too, like they said the bacon is done for but i still like to bake especially because i have oily skin like i do there because I, I get oily there i just do my entire t-zone where i get really oily in my highlighted areas i'm not like an oil pour like this doesn't pour on my skin but it's definitely there it definitely lives here Okay, so make sure you're going under your contour. You want to get really close to that line. I think I kind of just messed this side up, but it's okay. Um, it's not so bad. You want to get a good line under so that your contour is nice and sharp. I like this is not my natural makeup look. This is just my makeup look, my go-to. My natural makeup look, I don't even use foundation. I just use eyelashes, concealer, setting powder, mascara. That's it. Okay, we're done with that step. Now while we're baking, right, this is what you wanna do. You wanna put your eyelashes on. But before we put our eyelashes on, y'all see how cute these are? Wow. Wow. Can you see? <laughs> we love a dramatic lash. At least I do. So, to prep for eyelashes, we're gonna put on mascara because you want your eyelashes to stick. If you don't know, if you don't know how to put on eyelashes and your eyelashes are not sticking, it's probably because you're not putting on mascara first. Your eyelashes need something to stick to. 
my eyelashes are finally growing back out from getting lash extensions. That's why I stopped getting them because you know, no matter if you take care of them good, you go to the best person eventually, you know, you have to give your eyelashes a break from those lash extensions because it just like thins them out over time. Same thing with a weave, same thing with micro length, same thing with clippings. Like you just have to give, you know, your natural hairs on your body a break. Um, I used the duo glue, but I use it in black because, ooh, look what I just did. That's why you need to have a top on your stuff. I could have actually just used that and I wasted it. I'm gonna use the part that fell on the side. So you're gonna take your lash. I, I literally used the littlest bit. That's why I'm able to use that. So I take a little dab and I stretch it across the lash band. Literally such a little bit. You're gonna let those dry. It's very important to let your eyelashes dry before you put them on, y'all. It makes it so much easier. Like it, that should just stick right on there. So easy, so simple. Okay. While we're doing that, while those are drying, I'm gonna line my lips. Uh, I'm actually gonna brush the top of my lip off first. This is another real technique spread. They have a really good affordable brush. You just wanna go gently and brush it off. I didn't put no powder on my nose. Okay, we're gonna use this powder and put it on my nose real quick. Okay, let's just brush this one off too. Just so we don't mess up our, um, we don't mess up our lip liner once we brush it off. We're just gonna, I don't know if we just done. I wanna get your lips a little bit hydrated. Okay. Of course, I overline. You see, I have a big bottom lip, small top lip, I have white problems. It's gonna make sense, but we're not gonna put lip gloss on right now. Um, we're gonna put our eyelashes on right now. So, this is how I do it. Take my eyelash, and again, I'm gonna use my mirror. You can just literally, oh wait, we're not gonna put our eyelashes on yet. Um, I'm sorry y'all, uh, I'm all over the place, don't judge me. I'm gonna take a, a um, liquid liner because when you have on eyelashes right you don't want to see that strip so I do it before I put my eyelashes on I put a little black line it's not gonna be wing liner sometimes I do do that but it's not gonna be wing liner it's just gonna be a little black line that um falls around where the lash is gonna stick to. See that little black line? Little black line across your eyes. So easy, so convenient. Not convenient, I don't know. It's just so easy. It makes more sense. You don't wanna see that glue. You don't wanna see that, that strip of the lash. Okay. We're gonna keep doing that. Like I said, you can do a wing liner with it. I'm not gonna do a wing liner because it's the middle of the day. And why would I do that? You know, I'm not going nowhere important. A wing liner is when you're trying to be activated. <laughs> Get them every time. You know that TikTok be like, we got them right where we want them. That's how I feel when I come. <laughs> Let me shut up. Okay, we're gonna put our eyelashes on. So we're gonna take the first lash. It's dry now, so let's pray to the eyelash gods that it just sticks without extra work. 
if you are doing your eyelashes the way that I'm telling you to do them, they should go on like that. I take a little thing just in case to get the front because I hate when my front lash comes off every once in a while. Like, you be having a good night and then you can start seeing your eyelash in the corner. Usually when I have my nails on, it's much easier. I just take my fingernail do like that. Easy peasy. Bad bitch. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. That ain't me. Let's get it right. It's on there. Easy peasy, y'all. Y'all just be kind of making lashes harder than they gotta be, truthfully. It's really not that hard. So now we're gonna go on and dust off the rest of our powder very lightly. You still want the highlight there. And once you finish dusting, you just wanna pat the rest of it in. This one you kinda wanna get off, but leave a little reminiscent of it. This is my natural baby hair right there, so I just messed that up. Get out of here. You don't want to like do it hard on your face. You just want to do it fast and fast and smooth. Fast and smooth like a Lambo. Um, and then I do this one like this. <laughs> my under eye, you just want to also do that one the most gently and then you pat the rest of it in okay but you want to get this little this little whiteness off so we're just going to do like that a little bit and then pat the rest in see y'all things are starting to make sense right i know i look a little white right now but once i put my um Set it spray on, I'm not gonna look this white no more. And plus I have a ring light in my face, so it's like <clears throat> flash on. Okay. Like I said, pat the rest into your face. Okay. Now we're gonna take our mascara. Please don't forget y'all bottom lashes, y'all. If you ever feel like your face is naked and it's missing something, it's probably because you didn't put your bottom lashes on. And some, I had extensions before I loved them. They just came out so fast, but I loved it because I did not have to put bottom mascara on because my girls that do makeup, you know, the biggest piss off when you do your makeup is if you do these bottom lashes and you get a black thing under your eye, annoying. But if you do, use a spoolie brush and wipe it off. Do not use a Q-tip or nothing. I promise you the spoolie brush will get it right off. And then you're just filling that gap with a little bit of setting powder. Now that one I taught myself. Okay, you see the difference it makes? Bottom lashes. You want to keep those. Can I see? Keep those popping at all times. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with our blush. This is Tarte's Amazon Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Blush and Bride. Can you see it? Okay. We're gonna take our little big fluffy powder brush because we love blush and we just wanna get it on there. Dust it off a little bit and smile. I like a lot of blush, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. And the crazy part is I was not a blush person. And Sam will always tell me, you need to wear blush, you need to wear blush. And I'm like, eh, I don't like blush. Blush changed my life. I like to even put it up here a little bit. Just a little though. See the difference in it? It just brings some color to your face. Like some life, some color. Um, This is my, they're not friends no more, y'all. <laughs> this is Kylie and Jordan. It's kind of messed up because y'all know their collection came out in like 2018. Um, their highlighter kit from their palette. One broke on vacation, even though I didn't use it, it was purple. That's why a lot of my shit, a lot of my stuff <laughs> has glitter on it. Cause one of my um, pans broke out. I'm gonna take our fan brush. I use the color Best Life. That's what this is. Best Life. Whatever. I use that 
and then I mix inseparable and then I go on my brow just like two times that easy you see a difference maybe three times okay you want to highlight that brow area take it on your nose go up not all the way up just on your little whatever that is your cupid's bow get that last but not least you want to get your cheeks very high up like this like such you don't want too much though because you don't want to look like i don't know i don't know what you don't want to look like um this is juicy by jay my friend jasmine y'all she has the best lip gloss i literally only use her lip gloss and fenty this is the color topless so it's like a new and look she puts cute little quotes on it for when you put it on can y'all see it how about now there we go. it says um you are art so don't forget to capture it so we're gonna put that on her i'm gonna do a little lip combo i know y'all thought my lip liner was gonna creep up oh, was crazy but it's gonna make sense now. I like to take my lip gloss on my lip liner because it needs to blend it out. Okay, first layer of gloss done. Then I'm going with uh, my Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. Give it a little a little glitz a little extraness can y'all see y'all see my little gap it's really annoying i i had braces when i was from the age 13 to 15 straight teeth since then lost my well my dog ate my retainer last year and now that's why my little gap that y'all never saw before peeped out of nowhere so now i had to get invisalign because i'll be damned if i get braces again put lip liner on her but it's not that you fix it okay now we're gonna go in with where did it go <laughs> with our all-nighter spray i showed y'all this earlier but i'll show y'all again this is our all-nighter ultra glow spray by urban decay i used to use a regular all-nighter but this ultra glow y'all it, it does make a big difference and we're just gonna spray for our life What I look like while I spray that I look crazy. Um, I don't know where my other fan thing is, so we might use this. Ooh, I thought it was gonna break. How about some more? Now when I'm out, out and I'm gonna be outside like all night, I spray that like probably like a whole 30 seconds. And you just wanna fan it off. And now y'all see? Can y'all see? It's not dry yet though. shower routine a hair care routine with my products that haven't dropped yet i know it's taking a long time but bear with me it's a lot harder than you think to make products from scratch without taking products off the internet and putting them in a bottle so yeah 
I'm gonna give y'all all that. Whatever y'all want, just comment below. Whatever video y'all want, comment below. And I promise I'm gonna do my best to do everything y'all ask me to do, whether it's a Q&A, whatever. Story time, all that. Just let me know. Bye.